this is the video I wish I could see before I had done my wall. Um, we used a laminate flooring to cover our wall um, because it's hypoallergenic, it's all new materials, so there's no risk of bugs or mold or anything like that in there. So I wanted to point out a couple things that, um, that we kind of figured out along the way. Most boards will snap in like normal, you know, and you, you trim them. We trimmed around our TV bracket, as you can see, and then you, you cut them to length, they, they snap in. We didn't want to have to um, make this edge really pretty. You can see that this sticks out a little more, you know, so it's just not, and, and if you look at it this way, when you're entering the house, that really doesn't look very nice. So I used PVC J trim. That's what it looks like installed. Okay, and I painted it the right color before I put it on. And to preserve the gap, I used the sheetrock shim. So this is a thick cardboard. That's all it is. It's literally cardboard. So, and then I used tape to make a pull tab, because otherwise you can't slide it out. It'll just tear off inside. So that will preserve my gap. And then here's what the J trim, J, J trim looks like uninstalled. This is it. So I've got my corner mitered. But it's just this. Now they make it in metal. And I wanted it in PVC so I could paint it. So you can see that it comes white through on a coat of gray. And so that'll just go over that edge. That was, I couldn't figure out how to trim it out nicely. And then the neighbor suggested that to me. Second thing I wish I knew, um, liquid nails interior projects. This is a, um, you know liquid nails, uh, the blue one. But this is for interiors. It doesn't off gas very much. It's really remarkably strong. It's $1.77. You're saving a little bit per two. But here's the deal. On a 120 square foot wall, I went through a ridiculous amount of liquid nails. I probably went through, I don't know, 15 or 20 tubes. Um, what I wish somebody had told me was, you really don't need to nail it. I had marked the studs up and down, and the first the first line of boards um, are are pinned in with 18 and uh, 18 inch get 18 gauge two inch brass. But it really, I don't think that matters at all. This stuff sets up in about five, 10, 15 minutes. So just get it in position, hold it for a moment, um, and and then you're gonna go. Last thing. Um, or another thing, that first board just needs to be level, 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 level. And you're hoping that your walls are square, straight up. So believe it or not, that's not a totally straight edge all the way up um, because our, our, our wall leans a little bit. So um, make that first board perfect. And then the next one, you can see we had a little trouble because we thought our end wall was thing. So we got just a little edge here. No big deal, hard to see, and we won't see it at all when uh, when we put our furniture in front of it. Here's our HDMI cable. It drops straight down the wall. So it goes um, down there, right behind the wall. It comes out here, and then when we put our credenza here, um, we'll plug our, our stereo DVD player into it. There's our power outlet that gets hidden. Um, there's an outlet extender. I use the white one. Um, to, you don't want just live wires traveling over that because that's a fire hazard. So use an outlet extender. They're really cheap. They come in two packs. I don't know why, but they do. Uh, so what I did, this however, this three gang box is a new work box or an old work retrofit box. I actually took the box out from the wall, the blue box, and then mounted it back in after I installed the wall so that I didn't use three outlet extenders. Things wouldn't line up perfectly and it would have been looked a little bit off. So we just took the three gang box out here around. Instead of being really careful with all these angles and stuff, I just painted this dark gray. And then here, and you can see I didn't care much. Um, this is a 45 degree bevel on the back. You can kind of see in there. It just makes it go a little tighter and over there on the side. I haven't mounted my air conditioning vent yet, but um, that'll get mounted. I overcut, you can see I left it white. I just filled it in with caulk. And if you'll notice, um, I did the exact same thing. I was cutting on my table saw with the face down so it doesn't chip out. And that right there is a caulked and painted um, overcut. So that was white, and I'll just use that dark gray to touch it up. 
then if you don't have enough at the top, here's what happened. Um, we just ran out of boards that would click in. So I got rid of the, the end click on this flooring. And if you need to make your own, the important part is the groove. It sets into the, to the wall. But that I just cut off and I chamfered it to match everything else and I used a black sharpie. Now the black sharpie comes in handy as well. Here, I did this on the table saw and you can see how nicked up that finish is. So get your black sharpie. Looks a little strong, don't worry. It's hard to do this looking through the phone. Here, we'll just do that. And cover up all your white. Then take a rag. And just wipe it off. And on the wall, you never even notice that. It looks really bad right here, but it's up high. And so it will not look bad. So um, these are all custom cut like that. None of them have the locking edges that they should have. Um, so, same thing right there. So that piece goes up next. You can see up in that corner. So let me just show you how great this Loctite or this um, construction piece is. So again, Liquid Nails Interior Projects. And you'll see why I went through a lot of it. But I don't have to nail it on my wall. And there you go. I put a plastic bag underneath so it doesn't wreck anything if it drips out. Let me turn my hand over. Again, we're just showing you. This is what I wish somebody had shown me before I started. And you can see that custom cut blends right in with this chamfer. Now, because... Um, that really matters when you put the next board on. Um, I really want to get that next board up fast. So here we go. I'm going to set this down and we'll just finish it up. Anyways, start your own project. Looks great. This is super easy. Um, and we love the flooring. I'll, I'll put a, a, in the description what the flooring is.